Hey guys, uh, hope everyone's well. It's been a while, I know. Um, so, guys, today's lesson will be on bits, as um, as promised during the last video. It's it's extremely important for a programmer to know um, how does the computer um, read numbers, how does the programming language read numbers rather. So. Um, so I've got an Excel work workbook opened up, and um, um, f so as an example, let's let's look at some non-numeric variables. So um, there's something called as byte, which equals to one byte as a storage space. So storage is nothing but basically um, the memory that type of variable can store um, then we have something called an integer an integer consists of two byte similarly we have something called long which is four byte so a one byte equals to eight bits so let's look at a look at an example an eight bits in numbers would be something like this to start off with and um, the overall number for these bits will total up to from 0 to 255 which means a byte can only go from 0 to 255 in memory so um, so a computer basically reads numbers um, it, it, it only knows a number a 0 or a 1 unlike us um, we count numbers in tens multiples of tens etc so this is um, this is eight bits. This is what it looks like. So how do we refer to a number? So you will keep adding data in multiples. So example. So this is how eight bits would look like. And if you see the total of this, the sum comes up to two fifty five. So as mentioned, it's from zero to two fifty five for one byte. Now assuming we need to find out. Um, let's say how how would the computer know what is um, a number three for example so a computer would start from left it would look whether um, can three be covered off by one so yes um, three can be covered off by one so you put a one here then um, can three be covered off by two so we've deducted one which which lefts us with two so if you deduct two yes we do meet our target so um, this is basically how um, a computer would know the number three as you can see right here I've just highlighted this text for yourself So this is how the computer would read the number three um, similarly if we have to look at another example for eight bits um, let's assume we need to find out um, a number 18 so so in such circumstances you may just want to start off with, with a higher number so let's look at 128 um, that's way too higher than 18 let's look at 64 again that's way too higher let's just directly jump down to 16 since we know 16 is something that can cover off 18 partially so we'll put a 1 right over here and um, since we are left off with 2 so without wasting any time we can jump down to 2 and write another one over here so this is what um, a number 18 would be recognized as by the computer this is how it would be read in bits so 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 it's it's pretty simple it's just uh, a simple logic and it's extremely important for a programmer to know how how to how does the computer read numbers so anyways guys thanks for watching and please stay tuned for more videos cheers